Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to create 3D letters in Affinity Designer. Affinity Designer is a great alternative to Adobe Illustrator. It's a vector software. So here we are, new blank document. I'm going to use a text tool first, so we can type a text. You can type whatever you like. So simple text first, maybe hello here. Select a very boldy font. They work best as 3D letters. So we need bold font. Simple but bold, something like this. Will do. Then I'm using move tool to change the size. I can reposition this element. And now I will continue using move tool, but this time to adjust, adjust the text so I can Hover my mouse on the right side and then here below and I can adjust this angle. I can bend the text to the right, to the left. So we make some modification using just the move tool. The move tool is this dark, the black cursor. Now I create a copy of existing layer using shortcut. The shortcut is really simple. Just hold control or command while you are moving element on the screen. Very handy stuff. So I got this one copy below, I modified the color so we can distinguish them and take a look. Our task is to fill this gap between. So I'm going to create one more copy over here and now I will just hit Command J or Control J on Windows. This will repeat my last action so I don't need to do the copy again and again. So I use shortcut Control or Command J to repeat my last action and I end up with so many duplicates here. Nice. We already can see this week that we are aiming for some kind of 3D look here. We can select all, deselect the first layer and then add them all together to create one big shape. Done, we got just one shape instead of multiple text layers. All right, let's zoom back, take a look. The edge is very, very, I want to say pixelated, but they are vectors, so it's not pixelated, but it's we got this little, little triangles there because we kind of match multiple duplicates together. Some people like this and they keep this kind of sharp edge full of triangles but in our case we're going to get rid of it so let's move this point here now i'm using node tool the white selection tool the white cursor and then i can select multiple at once like this and hit delete on my keyboard you don't need to delete them one by one that will be a really slow process so that's what i'm going to do next i go i will go around my text let's lock the first layer just in case so we can we can only select the layer, the black one with our shape. And then you can use this node tool, you can make selection, you can select multiple nodes in the same time. Keep that in mind, this will speed up our process. All right, so let me just speed up, speed up this video a little bit. I'm just going to remove those extra nodes around my text. So I will speed it up and see you in a moment. All right, I'm done. I cleared up all edges. Now I'm ready to add some background here. So rectangle tool, like always, draw rectangle. We can modify the color, the fill color for this rectangle over here. Set up the base color and then simply switch to gradient. This way you don't need to set up the color from beginning. Let's modify the second color and also add a little bit of noise. So here we got some texture on the dark side of the 
image like this now simply drag and drop this background below other layers we can lock that and unlock this one <laughs> so we can work with the first layer as well here's our 3d effect our 3d shape our fake 3d letters so we can modify the color of this one as well again i just setting up a color first we can use the wheel as well i know many people prefer the wheel color color wheel so here it is let's use the wheel this time you can even pick the color from the background first and use this as a starting point and now again use gradient tool with the color on it so you will have this starting color set up already now we can simply just modify the brighter side a little bit same for the darker side of the gradient i will add noise here as well all right now we got color on our 3d letters we got a background let's make a duplicate of this text oops i delete this command z undo and duplicate now we can drag this below here modify the color to black we will use this as shadow so let's add a blur to this whole layer so let's blur this text drag it down on the layer list and a little bit to the right side follow the light source and this way we can create very simple shadow effect here changing blending mode to overlay and of course reducing opacity all right easy way to add shadow to our little project here i got completely white text at the top let me just zoom in a little bit i think we should modify this to make it a little bit more realistic it's already nice but we can add a few more details to this project so the first detail that we will add will be definitely in this area we will cut out this bottom part of the letter to indicate the geometry here all right let's pick layer effect we will reduce the fill color to zero so it's transparent but we can add effect on it like for example this inner glow all right so we got only effect without the fill color we reduce the fill to zero now we can modify the shape to match the letter using node tool i will just lock this layer just in case i don't want to click anything by mistake all right now i can drag it up a little bit and then i will make it shorter so i can select two nodes at the same time you don't need to do it node by node just hold shift or command or control on your keyboard all right so by adding this shape we kind of show the geometry of this 3d letter we can just copy this over here again i'm using the same trick for copy i use move tool and then hold command or control this way you can copy something by moving it all right i think this should be actually should be darker not brighter than the main letter so let's change the inner glow to dark color this way to be a little bit darker here on this side of the letter as it should be and now again holding control moving the shape so when you hold control instead of just simply move the shape you will move it and create a copy of it so the shape will stay in the original position and you will kind of move away duplicate now this pixel perfect adjustments mess up my alignment a little bit so i switch off that for a moment cool we got one more letter that will need a similar treatment over here 
actually two more letters l l so let's do something very similar here let's add this extra shape at the bottom to show the geometry of this 3d letter this one the size is a little bit different so i need to do some modification using node tool again the node tool is the white pointer white cursor all right i'm modifying two nodes at the same time I believe I can simply delete this one and copy the one that I modify already. So it's exactly the same. Let's zoom out. We can group this. So it's just one group. Okay, zoom out. Yeah, that little detail really improved the quality here. We can see like the bottom part of the letter separately. We got this ni nice, very sharp line indicating the geometry of the letter. So that's what we doing in this project. We are creating fake 3D letters. All right, maybe I will modify the color for the top layer, the white text. I just playing along with, with some layer effects but i think the gradient the gradient will be better for this one so we can also stress out that the light source is on the left side of the image by using gradient so let's fill this text with gradient i will switch off this inner glow like this and now we will simply modify the gradient position and also colors so on the left side, completely white, showing that the light is on the left and just slightly darker on the right side. All right, we got our 3D letters with background and shadow. Final touch, I'm going to add some kind of spotlight at the top layer so i will just duplicate the whole backdrop drag it to the top to cover everything and fill it with new gradient this time we'll need radial gradient so we got like this circle a little glow on this side of course, we need to modify this color. We will manipulate the color to be very bright, almost white. And on the other side, very dark, almost black. Final touch, change the blending mode for this one. Overlay is with, or soft light, it will work as a spotlight. So we can modify how strong this spotlight is based on the opacity slider. All right. and. It's, the, it's my way how to create a 3D letters using Affinity Designer, a great vector editing tool, great software, and much, much cheaper than Adobe Illustrator. All right, guys, if you like this style of tutorial, project-based tutorial, check my six hour long Affinity Designer Udemy course. The link will be in the description of this video. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.